Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. In this video, we are going to solve this problem that has been asked in Flipkart UI engineer interview. So this question has been posted by anonymous user on I think in April 2021. So if you can see the problem statement here, right? The third problem, it was a problem solving round. So here he has posted the question and the answer that was expected during the interview. So let's try to solve this. Let's first analyze the question. So if you can see the question, it stated that we are given a nested object. So A, A can have B and C. And at any level, the keys of the object will have a function. So if I see from the example, these functions will accept same number of arguments and they can perform different type of operations on those arguments and return the value. So we have to create a function, this Fn, that will accept this object as input and that function will return another function that return function will accept the number of arguments that these functions which are inside or in the object are expecting. So once we pass the arguments to the return function this argument will go through each of these and finally after the processing whatever will be the outcome right that will be attached as a value to those keys so if you see the output after processing whatever is the outcome right 111 so here it becomes 3 so that's why the value 3 is attached to the key similarly here after the processing the value remains 1 so 1 is attached to this so this is what we have to do so let's start solving this let me copy this question from here let's go to pen let me define an object and store this so let me format this a little bit better so that we can you know examine it properly so now we have our sample question let's start implementing this so as the problem statements read right we have to create this function and this is the expected output so let's copy this too and let's paste over here and let me remove this let me comment this out and then finally let's comment this too so we have to come create this function fn now this fn will accept the object and return another function so from the very first let's create the function fn and it will accept the object and then this will return a function so let's create that function now that function will accept the arguments now these arguments will so from the problem statement it's clear that the arguments length will be uh, the same that these functions are expecting but we are accepting all the arguments and we will pass it directly to this function so even if there are extra arguments over here right it will be ignored so we don't have to worry about those things so i'm using the rest operator to accumulate the arguments in the form of array after that let's start implementing our solution so because this object can be nested right if we can see the object can be nested so we have to do a deep dive and if we encounter a value as object for any given key we have to recursively call the same function and do the further processing so let's start doing this let's check key by key so let's get the key from the object and here i'm not adding any additional check where we have to see if the key belongs to the object only and not to its property chain because this is a simple question asked to ui1 so i don't think that will be the case so uh, while solving the problem make sure you ask these questions or get your doubts clarified to the interviewer so here let's extract the value of this now if the type of value is function so what we have to do is we have to update the value of the current key now this current key has this function as the value currently but if the type of that value is function we have to update the current key and what we have to do is we have to pass the argument that we have received in this uh, return function and we have to pass that to this value 
so this function this value function will accept this and then it will do the evaluation and it will return the final output and it will be stored to the given key else i am adding an additional check here so else assuming that there will be only nested objects and functions in this function right in this object but just to be extra sure let's say what if there is another value say null then there is a value one then there is a value a string and then finally there is a value which is an array so we have to ignore all these four types of value and we have to only do the recursion whenever we encounter a object so for that case i am adding this additional check over here so the first check i am doing is if it is val val is truthy value so if the value is either null or undefined or zero this will fail so we don't have to do the recursion the second check i am adding is if the type of is object so if this val is object then we have to do the recursion but only if it is object and it is not an array so this is the third check i'm adding and finally if all these checks are evaluating our condition pass so we have to recursively pass the nested value so if this value is not a function and it is an object we have to pass that to this function again so it will do the same processing and it will if uh, at any level it encounters a value as function it will assign the process value to that given key so let's call that function again with the new value and because this function returns a function right if you see here so we have to pass the, the argument that we are receiving back to that function so here i have passed the arguments back now i think that's pretty much it we don't have to do anything else let's uncomment this and let's control dot lock the object so here if i run this you see we are getting the op output as expected so for time being let me comment this out these extra values so that for the initial case only we can see the clear output so for a if you match with the if you do the parity with the sample output right so for the a b is 3 c is 1 and d is minus 1 so we are getting what we are expecting and if you notice the processing is happening in place so we are changing or mutating the value of the original object itself we are not creating a copy of this so these two get clarified if you ever encounter such questions so get it clarified if you have to do the mutation in place or not to the interviewer and if i uncomment these values so if you see if i uncomment this and let me clear this run it again so this value should be ignored so i am getting null as it is i am getting one as it is empty string and finally the array so i think that's pretty much it thank you for your time